let's take a trip back into time. No, no, no. Way back in time, like prehistoric times. Uh, all right, that's more like it. That's better. <clears throat> 25,000 years ago, humans lived in small bands or groups, hunting and gathering throughout Africa, Europe, the Pacific, and Asia. But humans had yet to inhabit or live on North and South America. Only North American lions, Spilodon, you know, saber-toothed cats, woolly mammoths, Holy rhino, giant sloths, eohippi, you know, horses with toes. Hey, look, there's an eohippus there. Oh no, run, eohippus. Uh, uh, oops, there was an eohippus. There were super packs of dire wolves and the enormous short-faced bear and multitudes of bison. Phew. That's a lot of wildlife, I know. So when and how did humans first arrive in North America, you ask? Well, that story your parents and I grew up with went something like this. It's known as the Land Bridge Theory. Around 15,000 years ago, the planet was gripped in a, um, uh, 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 I, I need a clue. Let's see, ah, yes, an ice age. There have been several ice ages throughout Earth's history, and this one, roughly 15,000 years ago, was our most recent. Anyway, during this ice age, there was less liquid water on Earth. Cooler temperatures had transformed much of this liquid water into solid water. You know, ice. I wonder if that's why they call it the Ice Age. Mmm, probably not. Liquid water levels, or ocean levels, were so low during this time that the continents of Asia and North America were actually connected by a land bridge. People hunting in Asia followed animal herds right across that land bridge and into North America. Some areas of this land bridge were 100 miles wide, so we're not talking about a narrow bridge. Now, these hunters weren't exploring, they were just trying to fill their bellies. But over thousands of years, these hunters found their way into North and then South America. Archaeologists believe that prehistoric people came by land, but others may have come by boat. Some may have even traveled under glaciers of ice. Brr. Hm. Then, well, you know the story. The meltdown happened. The end of the Ice Age. With all that melting ice during the meltdown, the land bridge, the area that had connected Asia to North America, found itself submerged underwater. Asia and North America were no longer connected. Over the next thousands of years, those first people who entered what we now call North America, those first Americans, multiplied and spread out, settling throughout North and eventually South America. This story, this land bridge theory, explains how 15,000 years ago, humans crossed the land bridge from Asia into North America, becoming the first hu- at you live and direct from studio it's chuck norrison here i've got some breaking news you see this breaking well it's not exactly breaking news you see it happened in 1992 so i guess maybe that makes it broken news 
At any rate, a discovery has been made in a small farm in Cactus Hill, Virginia. That's southeastern Virginia near the Nottoway River. Now, there's not a way you'll remember the name of that river, but let me tell you that artifacts have been found. Artifacts, human-made objects, have been found that are older than 18,000 years. Now, why is this important? Well, uh, I don't know, but I bet your teacher does. So we're going to kick it on over to Ransom, your teacher who's live in the virtual classroom. Ransom, why is this such a big deal? Uh, yeah, thanks, Chuck Norrison, uh, uh, I guess. It is true that in 1992, on a Virginia farm along the Nottoway River, artifacts, you know, old objects made by humans, were found. When scientists checked how old these artifacts were, they found that they were over 18,000 years old. But wait, remember the land bridge theory said the first humans arrived 15,000 years ago. But here in Cactus Hill, artifacts were found that were even older than that land bridge crossing. That means when those Asian hunters made their way across from Asia into North America, there were already people living in North America. So where does that leave us? Well, scientists and archeologists are no longer so sure when the first humans arrived in North America. And with more and more discoveries of artifacts made throughout North America, Scientists can no longer agree on when the first humans arrived and what route they took to get here. Well, since they can't agree, let you and I agree on one thing. These humans that arrived whenever are referred to as Native Americans, or is it American Indians, or, or First Americans. I guess we can't agree on that either.